Hi guys, I'm Shelley and I had a lovely, beautiful book arrive in the post yesterday and that is Franklin's Flying Bookshop by the wonderful and lovely Jen Campbell. Jen is a booktuber and a writer and a poet and an all-round just champion of books and a lovely person and this is her first children's book that she has written. It came out yesterday. Now I'm not one to usually review children's books. Jen is special. Jen is just one of those humans where if she writes something you have to read it and goody 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 just all the goody thoughts and all the loveliness. So here it is. It's beautiful. It's illustrated by Katie Harnett who is magical. Here is Franklin. He is a dragon. And here is his little friend Luna, who I have to say reminds me of Morag. Have you ever read the Morag books? With flaming red hair and she has a, a woolly jumper on. It's kind of like the Argyle jumper that Morag uh, wears. And it just gives me all the feels of when I was a kid. And just look how pretty we have. We have the shiny. We have It's really big as well. So really good to uh, hold and everything. It's just... It's physically really pleasing. Does that make sense? Franklin is a dragon, quite obviously, who loves books. He loves stories and his aim in life is to find somebody to talk to about all the stories in his head. But he's a dragon and he scares everybody. What a surprise. He goes towards people and they're just like, ah, dragon, get away from me. And then he meets the lovely little Miss Luna, who you can see here in these beautiful pictures. Who has her nose stuck in a book? She looks up, she sees Franklin, and it's a dragon. She's not scared of it though, because a dragon is in her book. A dra she is reading about dragons right now, and they become fast friends over stories and things that they love, and they decide to open a bookshop. And I won't tell you the rest, because let's have a little bit of mystery in it, shall we? But, oh, it's so pretty and it's so magical. If you have ever read Green Smoke by Rosemary Manning you'll see the sort of links I think that Jen has put in. I'm not sure but but yeah the, the dragon and the little girl definitely reminds me of that which just gives me so many fuzzy feelings because Green Smoke is my favourite children's book ever. What I've found a connection to reading it as an adult is I could just be putting this into the book and it's not actually there but I love the fact that Luna as a little child can look past the fact that she's talking to a dragon and they have become friends because of books because of stories it explores friendship through stories which I love I love the fact that you can have nothing in common with somebody and yet if you like the same book you're friends if you like stories you're friends and somehow you can just cross massive divides because you love the same book and I think that might be like a hidden message inside the book or a kind of hidden moral. I hope it is and I'm not just reading into it. And I wish that this had been around when I was a kid but it's around now and I get to read it. I will leave links down below to Jen and to where you can get signed copies of this. I may have bought a signed copy just because it's so pretty. It's completely adorable and I'm sort of in love with it. I hope you guys are good. I hope you're having a magical flying day. I'm just high on cute stories now. Hey! Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea. Da 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 da